Okay, so in this video, I would like to um, set up a, a C sharp Windows form that multiplies just very simply two numbers. And so we go to New Project and we go to uh, Visual C sharp and we come down to Windows Form Application and then just very simply we put in uh, Windows Form. Um, and then multiply, so just give it a name, and I'll save that uh, into into my own folder, and then that's uh, been set up. Now a form, a blank form, should appear. So that form is there. We have a, a toolbox here, which is very handy. But let's just remove that for a second and just see where would we find. Uh, the necessary tools and processes to design a form. So we would go to view and come down to toolbox. And with that then we have all the different um, bells and whistles if you like that we can add on to our form. Um, okay so we could put in just to get the ball rolling we need for this um, form we will require three text boxes. So text box one, text box two, text box three and also we need some labels um, and so we can come down to just look for labels and okay just drag it over so I'm holding I'm left clicking and just releasing left click, carry over, release, left click, carry over and release and the tend to line up. Um, but I could probably do that a little bit better. So first of all, we could highlight each of those three boxes, come over here and they align. And likewise, I could do the same here and they line up and then um, we could also, um, well, they're fine, I think. Probably need a button um, just to execute um, as a kind of an event button that uh, we want to multiply two numbers. Okay, so we want to give each of these labels names and identify each of the text boxes and also when we click this button I want to give it a an event okay let's go to view and come down to the properties window so have I clicked on the form okay highlight the form go to view and um, properties windows okay and let's give each of the labels a name right so try it again view properties windows and let's just um, hold that here. Okay, so I've docked it. And I want to go to label 1 and change the text of label 1 just to, let's call it number 1 and then go to label 2 and change the text to number 2 and then go to label 3 and change the text to we could call a product or multiply product perhaps okay and then the text box 1 we should change its name and this text box will then become a variable that we'll use. So we're going to call that text box tb underscore and number one. And likewise for text box two, uh, the name we're going to change to tb tb underscore um, number two. <coughs> And then the output, uh, we'll change that to text box tb 
underscore and we'll call that MULT or product perhaps mult okay indicating multiply okay so um, okay so if you like the text boxes then correspond to uh, variables uh, let's go to the button and change um, button one so the text here will change to multiply okay and return and you can see the multiply changes here and then double click on multiply and then if you like we need to give that button an action and I'll copy some code small amount of code and then we can just uh, go through it so paste in just a little bit of code so we've declared that number one number two and mult are variables um, and they are doubles so means that we can go um, a certain number of decimal places um, more than uh, integers for instance um, we so we have number one number two and mult and number one we plan to multiply by number two and the output is uh, mult all of which we declare as being doubles uh, number one is a double and we're taking the value from the text box number one which I've already declared and I'm taking number two from the text box number two from the form and then I'm taking the product or multiplying number one by number two and that's giving mult and then text box mult in the in the text of the text box we take the mult and we convert it to a string okay so let's go back into our form for a moment and let's debug the project and it takes a second okay so the form now is live and let's put in five five and two and multiply and you can see we get the right result okay ten again six multiplied by two twelve okay so appears as if the form is actually working okay so it looks as if it's working uh, let's stop the debug uh, now what else can we do here we could um, we could publish the win form mult so let's try that and see what happens and uh, we want to specify the location to publish this application so we're setting this up as an app and maybe we'll put it on the desktop um, we'll just put here and say open and then run next and okay from a cd-rom and next and the application will not check for updates okay finish okay so that wind form now should have appeared in my desktop that's okay so it should have appeared in the desktop let's just take a look at that for a moment and I have a little snippet of my um, desktop so let's run this win form mult and it goes through the process of installing and then we say okay we'll, we'll install and then the form appears and we can try 5 multiplied by 8 and we get the correct answer 40 we can close it down so uh, we can publish 
once we have set up the form, we can actually set it up then as a, build it as an app by using this publish wind form.